Yeah. Now, to some degree, we can actually intuit this, and I'm interested to what degree you, you agree with this, because I know that you're a, you know, you've been meditating for for a few decades very deeply, and I want to ask you a bit about that. But you know, as a lot of people in meditative um, traditions will say, well, actually, yes, okay. Um, you know, we believe in time. I can go and leave my keys out on, well, as the example I've already given, but also I can go and leave my keys out on uh, the desk by my front door, go out, and when I return, the keys will be in the same place. And that sort of hints that, you know, there is time and obviously I can throw a ball in terms of space. But actually, if we refer directly to our immediate experience rather than, okay, mm -hmm. our, our beliefs and interpretations, in our, our immediate experience, it's always now and it's always here, yeah. right? And, and actually, experience should trump belief. That, that, that's right. So our, our fundamental primary experience is the here and now, and it's always now. I can never do something in the future. I can only do it now. And um, the past is only something that I remember now. Uh, and, and so there is this sense in which the, the now is the fundamental experiential reality. Uh, yeah. As a science, this is a different thing. But as an experiential reality, it's always the now. I've never done anything in the future and I've never done anything in the past. It's always been in the now that I've ever done anything. And, and, and in our in the model that we're building of, of consciousness, um, we have this conscious agent model. We model it that way. The mathematics has a a now where the the state of the Markovian dynamics is always changing, but it's always in the now. But the time that we experience, right? So space and time has a time that's tied in physics to a, a notion of entropy uh, of of increasing disorder with increasing time things fall apart as time goes on <laughs> our bodies <laughs> fall apart yeah you, you know cars get old yeah the sun dies food goes off yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah so, so things you know, that's the you know so there's this notion of entropic time and that what, what's really interesting mathematically is our theory of conscious agents has a dynamics so you might say, oh, therefore you've got time. Well, well, we have a, a dynamics. There is a, a dynamical parameter, but it's, it, it, there is no increasing entropy. The entropy does not need to increase. But it's a theorem that if you take our Markovian dynamics and do any projection of it, so take this Markov dynamics of consciousness and take a projection where you're losing information about the, the whole thing, the projected dynamics will have increasing entropy and therefore an arrow of time. So my, my take on it is the arrow of time is not an insight into the nature of reality. It's entirely an artifact of the loss of information in our projection. <laughs> reality, whatever it is, is this timeless dynamics and because we have only partial information in our projection of that dynamics, we have this entropic arrow of time. So it's entirely an artifact of the projection. Wow. Okay. Um, two quick questions. I don't want to dwell on too long. I'm fairly sure I heard Brian Cox. And if you don't, I'm, I'm yeah, sure you I know, know Brian. Of course you do. So he's obviously um, the popular physics guy here in the UK. Um, yes. And. I'm sure I heard him say the one time that physics doesn't have an equation for is now. Am I, is that, am I recalling that wrong? Well, yeah, it's interesting. If you look at the, all of the equations of physics have a T in them, right? They're right. There's this, you know, the Schrodinger equation has, you know, the, the time, you know. Yeah. The, the physics has a difficulty pinpointing the, the, the now, like yeah. in, in special relativity, you could think about space and time as this big loaf, a space-time loaf. 
And in some sense, all parts of the loaf seem equally real from this point of view of, of special relativity. And yet for us, the, the now seems, you know, where I am right now in the world line seems really important. The whole world, I don't seem to experience the whole world line. And yet special relativity says that the whole thing is, is real. And I only experience the now. And, and that's really hard. Um, yeah. So physics hasn't really captured that. Absolutely. Right. So, so physics is in direct contradiction to our, actually how we experience things. We only ever experience the now, but f that's the one, let's say, moment in time, quote unquote, that, that physics can't actually capture. That that seems to be the, the case with, with, with current physics. And now that's the question of whether physics in principle can't capture. There's a different question. Right. But, okay. but I think the current physics has not.